Hi, I'm Eric and this is Ellis with Fleming Traps and today we're going to be doing some raccoon trapping using the dog proof raccoon traps. Uh, we're going to use the Z traps. Uh, they come in three different colors. We have them in white, we have them in brown, and we have them in camouflage. Now, all these traps are powder coated so you don't have to do anything once you receive them in the mail. Uh, they also have a swivel, an inline swivel. They work off of a push-pull trigger system so that way when the raccoon sticks his hand in he can bump it on the way in or on the way out uh, getting the bait. Uh, a lot of people ask us which uh, color sells the best, which one works the best. Uh, the white and brown generally sell about the same. And then you have uh, the camouflage one. It's about a dollar more, so it comes in third place. Uh, what we're going to do now is we've got some good bait ready. We're going to go uh, bait these traps up and put them out and see if we can catch us some coons. Okay, we're here at our first set. And uh, what we want to do right now is show you our, the bait that we're using. I'm not sure if you can see it real well. Uh, you can use just about any kind of bait. Uh, for dog proof trout. So what I've done is gone and got some high protein dog food with a lot of greasy fat on it. Uh, mixed it with some shell corn and I even threw some marshmallows in. Uh, raccoons love marshmallows. And what I did was I took some of our coon catcher lure. I put a little bit of the lure in with the, uh, uh, the other ingredients and we mixed it up real good. Uh, it has a real strong smell so the raccoons should be able to uh, smell it from a long ways away. Uh, now we're going to go ahead and make our set. At this set location, there's actually a stream running behind the camera. Uh, this is an old cattle trail. Uh, the cattle uh, beating it down through here, so this is a good crossing. Uh, a lot of animals, not only raccoons, but coyotes and fox, they like to use this. Uh, we've actually put some corn out uh, here to uh, make sure there are some in the area. we got a lot of tracks. We've even got tracks climbing up the wall right here. Uh, so now we're going to go ahead and uh, get the doll proof trap uh, set up. Uh, first thing we'll do, uh, we're going to use the Berkshire disposable staking system. Uh, I got some quick leaks on it. That way I can just attach it uh, to the dog proof trap itself. Uh, so first thing we'll do, we're going to get that dri driven in the ground. Ellis, I need to see that driver. Driven in the ground. I'm gonna that back out. Now we're going to take our trap. I uh, went ahead and put some of the bait in the bottom of it. I'm going to attach the trap to the Berkshire disposable stake. We'll get it tightened up real good right here. Uh, now the next thing we're going to do, we're going to go ahead and get our trap set. Uh, to set the trap, basically all you need is a set tool. I highly recommend the set tool. makes it much easier uh, than doing by hand. Uh, all you'll have to do is you'll take your set tool. It has two notches on it. You place it up underneath the spring. You'll depress. First you'll put, flip your dog over. You'll depress down on it. Once it's flipped down, Then you have it set. Now that it's set, we're going to put it up at an angle. That way when the raccoon walks by, with it being white, hopefully he'll see it and investigate it. And he'll come and he'll stick his hand down in there, tripping the trigger and in turn catching him. Uh, now what we're going to do, we're going to go on up the trailhead here and we're going to put another trap and then we'll put one across the tra uh, creek at the other trailhead. And now we'd like to show you a pretty neat little invention to go along with your Z-trap. Uh, it's not required by no means, but it helps in prevention of rodents getting in your trap and setting it off. Since it is a push-pull system, uh, anything that gets in and bumps it will set it off. Uh, what this is called is a uh, Z-cap. Uh, Ellis, if you could hand me the uh, trap. Uh, all you do is once you have it set, uh, you just take it and you place it in there just like that. Uh, then that way uh, any mice or rodents generally is not going to be able to access the food and set it off. Uh, whereas a raccoon does have hands and fingers, what he'll do is take it off to investigate and then stick his hand in. So this is a nice little addition um, to your uh, trap line if you're using these Z-traps or any other doll proof trap set tool that it will fit in. Uh, and we're going to use some of these also and see what kind of results we get.
All right, we put three traps out right here. We have uh, one at the trailhead, one right here that caught this raccoon, and then one right around the corner. Um, we always recommend when you come up uh, to your animal, be sure that he is secure. Uh, as with this raccoon, as I come up to him, he's gonna uh, lunge at me and, uh, and uh, try to get me. So make sure your stakes are secure in the ground when you place them, and also your animal is secure before you do approach him. Um, but we got this one raccoon here on the three traps, and then we're gonna go and check our other sets now. We caught this raccoon right at the trailhead on a camouflaged dog-proof uh, Z-trap. We actually caught one just right around the corner about three to four days ago. Uh, this trap actually was out uh, for probably about three to four days and we had to freshen it up uh, one time, but we eventually got him. And now we're gonna go on to our next set. We caught this raccoon in, in a white dog-proof raccoon trap beside the creek. And we have some in the pasture and some down the creek and we're gonna go check those. Okay, we're at the end of our uh, five-day trap line with the Z-Trap doll-proof coon trap. Uh, we put out nine traps. Uh, within five days, we caught three raccoons. Uh, we also uh, was running a, a few foothold traps and we caught this really nice bobcat. Uh, we've had a really good weekend. Uh, we actually, Ellis killed his first deer uh, this weekend, a big old eight point. So. Uh, we got Thanksgiving coming up, so we're going to go ahead and pull all of our traps up and uh, get ready for the holidays. We appreciate you watching this video. If you have any questions about any of the products that we've used, please feel free to give us a call or visit us online at flamingtraps.com.